This is an inside look at one of Toronto's most historic landmarks. Being one of the most photographed buildings in Toronto, I'd say most people are familiar with its standout exterior, but I think it goes without saying that only a handful of people can say they've seen the inside of Toronto's Flatiron building. Thanks to Flatiron Wealth Management, the investment firm on the fourth floor, Blogtio received a behind the scenes look at one of Toronto's most historical buildings. The Flatiron, or the Gooderham building, was completed in 1892 for George Gooderham, who then served as the head of the Bank of Toronto and the owner of Gooderham and Wart's Distillery. Fortunately for us, much of the inside has stayed the same. The building boasts 18 feet high ceilings, a feat that was unprecedented for the times. Single hung windows, hardwood floors, exposed brick, a variety of vintage safes, one of which has been transformed into an office kitchen, and last but not least, an Otis elevator that's been operating since it was installed back in 1892. Fun fact, this elevator actually shared the likes of Al Capone, who frequented this building likely smuggling alcohol from the distillery back to the United States during the Prohibition. The flat iron has quite literally really stood the test of time, and I'm incredibly proud to have been able to scale its fire escapes and share its immaculate views of Front Street and the Financial District. If you haven't stopped by in a while, you can still find this piece of Toronto history at 49 Wellington Street East.